Welcome back. We are here looking at the commodities market and the precious metals market. And this is going to be my daily forecast for Wednesday, May 26, 2021. If you like to support our channel, you will hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button, the bell button to see our newest videos. And if you want early access to our ETF videos or our commodities and, and precious metals videos, you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. So we'll start by looking at the US dollar index. And as you can see, we did go lower today. And um, this, of course, was fairly bullish for gold and also fairly bullish for, for oil and uh, so on. So commodities are doing very well at this point. And uh, as long as there is a very cheap dollar, then, then demand for uh, precious metals and, and so on will be also higher. So at this point, it looks like we are going to test it. 89.20 which is the previous lows here back in in january 2021 and uh, if that breaks then we are looking at much lower levels we have to go all the way back here in 2018 in, in order to see 88.10 so it's not looking very good for the us dollar it has been in a massive downtrend for a very long time so let's look at oil So oil did go higher and uh, then gave most of those gains back. Trading at uh, 65.92 at this current stage. Technical indicators are looking fairly promising. MACD is still bearish, but is getting close to the signal line. Stochastic is bullish. CCI is very bullish. And RSI is flat at this point. We are approaching the top of this range. Could see a pullback if we manage to get up to 66 or 67, which is also the previous highs here. A break above that will open the door to 70 and then 75. So to the downside, we found that the bottom of the bullish band or the 50 moving average offered massive support. So down here, roughly at 61.68 is where we bottomed the last time. So let's look at natural gas. So natural gas is also rallying as everything else, commodities, precious metals, and so on. Everything is technically rallying at this current stage inflation is definitely um, something uh, that will affect the market when you're considering that this is used in all production then things should be become more expensive and that of course will probably in the long run affect uh, the stocks and indices as well but at this point we are trading above the middle of the bullish band technical indicators most of them are turning around they're still bearish Stochastic is, no, MACD is still bearish. Stochastic is becoming flat. CCI is approaching positive territory. And there's our RSI is flat at this point. So if we manage to get a green candlestick above the middle of the bullish band, then and it's fairly likely that we'll go to uh, you know, 3.08. So it is not very likely that we'll go to these previous highs here at once. You'll probably test these previous highs, which is roughly at 3.0898. Break below here, we found major support down at 2.89. So let's look at copper. So copper is one of those metals that is um, still declining. Um, it had this massive rally here for like three to four weeks. And now and then it got really overstretched significantly overbought and usually what happens there it falls back towards the 50 moving average we're well on the way um still still quite some room to the downside we have the bottom of the bullish band here at 4.4 uh, and the 50 down here at uh, 4.3 which also is the previous highs here so that is probably going to be the target uh, where buyers will come back in and buy it just to the upside so world economy is is um, is opening again production uses uh, a lot of copper uh, everywhere so um this will be in high demand and therefore prices will most likely increase if you look at technical indicators we can see the macd is still bearish cci is still bearish rsi uh, cci sorry stochastic is still bearish cci is also bearish but it's turning around and the rsi is flat at this current stage so let's look at gold so gold is doing very very well we're approaching 1900 at this point and um, yes it looks like 1900 and 
1958 or 1950 is going to be where we'll have this test of a pullback. So looks like we are rounding off here and heading back towards 1950. And um, at this point, we are significantly overbought and uh, we are nearly at the top of the bullish band. So we could probably see this be pushed towards in 1950 before pulling back towards support. But um, yes, we'll also have a crossing here at the 20 and the uh, 200 moving average, which is a very bullish sign. Otherwise, technical indicators are very bullish. So let's look at silver. So silver is bouncing off the 20 exponential, fairly predictable here. Um, Pulls back at the top of the bullish band and rallies at the bottom of uh, or at the bottom, which is the 20 exponential. So just going back and forward, and most likely our target will be 30,000. Break below the 20 exponential, then we'll head towards the 50 down at $26. So let's look at platinum. So platinum has recovered fairly nicely today. So we hit bottom down here at 1160. Technical indicators, they are all turning around. They're still bearish, a few of them. So MACD is still bearish. So CCI, Stochastic is, is becoming bullish. CCI is still in negative territory, but it's turning around. And RSI is bullish at this point. So if we manage to break above the 20 and the 50, then we could head towards the top here, which is roughly 1262. Uh, break below this candlestick here, could drop this all the way down to 1100. So let's look at Pallium. So it is starting to stabilize so right underneath the 50 moving average. If we can look at the Fibonacci retracements for this, we can see that we are running, we're stabilizing right at the 30, uh, 38.2. And uh, if we break below here, then we have the 50 down here at 16 and 26, uh, 45. And uh, if you look at the indicators, they are still very bearish. MACD is bearish, Stochastic is bearish, CCI is still bearish, and RSI is kind of turning around and becoming bullish. So we're also getting rejected here at the 50 moving average. So yeah, stabilize, then we could go higher, but break below these kind of sticks, then we're looking at the 50, 61.8, and the 200 moving average all the night, all the way down here at 24.41. So let's look at uh, sugar, I'm oh, sorry, aluminium. So aluminium is stabilizing here at the 50 moving average, which is uh, very promising. We have tested it one, two, and three times. And uh, kind of when you stabilize this long for at one point, that usually is a very positive sign. But if we break below the 50, then we could head toward 2250 and all the way down to the 200 moving average. Technical indicators, we can see that the MACD is bearish, the CASIC is flat, CCI is bearish, and the RSI is flat as well. So if you take out the middle of the punch band, then we could head towards the top here at the 2537. So let's look at nickel. So nickel did recover yesterday, ran into quite a lot of resistance at the 20 exponential today. Uh, but the break above here, that could open the door back towards these previous highs here at 18,127. Technically, indicators they are becoming flat or are turning around to the upside in June. So 50 moving average offered quite a lot of support. You have the 200 moving average right underneath, and that should be also massive amount of support. So let's look at sugar. So sugar did rally up towards the middle of the bullish band and got rejected there. So this is starting to just trend sideways. And uh, if we manage to break above the middle here, then we could head towards the top, which is roughly at uh, 0 0.18. Technical indicators, they are either bearish or are turning around. So MACD is bearish, CCI is bullish, uh, Stochastic sorry, is bullish, CCI is becoming bullish, and the RSI is also bullish at this current stage. So break below the 50, opens the door to the 200 at 0 0.15. And um, yes, that is kind of about it. So let's look at cotton. So cotton did rally up towards the 50 and got really heavily rejected there. So 
this is not looking very good for this market. We are not managing to break above the 50. And usually when that is the case, it turns around to the downside. So last time we fell is uh, we found support at 0 0.7745. And then we have the 200 moving average down here at 7, 0.7643. Technical indicators, they are fairly mixed. MACD is bearish. CCI, uh, stochastic is flat cci is bearish and the rsi is flat at this point so let's look at the Gakoa. so Gakoa did gap down today and uh, well this is not looking very good for for this market um, either so we're trading at uh, 2387 uh, and approaching uh, the very lows here of give or take uh, 234043 Technical indicators are all favoring the downside at this point. So break below here, could see this drop all the way down to uh, 22.33 and then towards 20.91. So let's look at wheat. So wheat continues to break down. It looks like uh, we are trying to stretch this all the way down to the 200 moving average. 20. Uh, MACD is bearish, the stochastic is flat, CCI is bearish, and the RSI is bearish as well. So rallies from here will most likely find resistance at the 50 and the 20 exponential, and uh, support will most likely be the 200 uh, moving average. So hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support the channel by subscribing, hit the like button and the bell button to see our new videos, and good luck and thank you very much.